What is up, YouTubers? Ruben here. You should probably know what the noise is. It's one of those uh, Speed Queen commercial dryers. This one right here. Okay. I want to record it here because I tried doing it at the uh, at the driveway, but I didn't want to. So I'm recording from the upstairs section at 1450 uh, building. And just east of Garfield Pearson. So, let's go ahead and get the review of this. I'm gonna stop the video with the magic of video editing with Windows Movie Maker. Let's get started. Most people say it's the right, but that's the left. That's the, on the left side, you got headphone, battery indicator, which that's the headphone jack, by the way, power button. Volume, volume, slide, uh, volume button and the candy to lock with the recovery button. Nothing. But on the on the right, we got the power indicator. No, that's the power uh, connector. That's the DCN jack, micro SD card. If I can, if the camera will focus. There we go. HDMI and two USB 3.4. The usual Dell, uh, whoa, Dell logo, activity light, and on most Chromebooks you're going to see the Chrome logo and Chrome definition. And there are two pins right there. That, I'm at the 1450 building, but whatever. And by the way, you can still hear the motor running on the G-Point commercial dryer. So right here we got the Chromebook 113189 designation. Service now, you can express service code. Ooh, the camera will focus. No, I don't think so. Here you get the CE light. No, it's got all your FCC stuff. Which I'll put a picture on that. Just to show you. Right there. And we got an 11.6 inch screen, web cam right here. All oh, you can see it. The logo and all the, the keyboard, processor, sticker, and the touchpad. To the specs, you can see me. Hello, people. You're gonna see me all the time. We got a Intel Celeron N3060 APU with Intel HD Graphics 400. 4 gigs of RAM and a 32 gig SSD. This is an EMMC drive and it's running Chrome OS. Let's go ahead and get to the actual. Well, let's get into the actual operating system. Running Chrome OS. Let's go ahead and click on Chrome. Right, customize menu. Help about Chrome OS. You can see it's running Chrome OS 65, 0.0.3325, 0.209, 64 bit. <laughs> this camera doesn't want to focus for some reason. And now, let's go ahead and get to the tablet activity. You make it as a tablet. Oops. My phone is dropped. I'm going to need two hands for it. So if you want to convert it into a tablet, you might want to flip the screen. And if you want it like that, you can do it like that. If you want it like this as a tent, you can do it like a tent. If you want to convert it into a tablet, bam, tablet. So that is it. Let's go ahead and turn it back to the desktop. Notice about one of these Chromebooks, it has a lock button instead of the power button. So be aware of that because the power button is right there. Maybe similar to a Dell Chromebook 11 3180. This is a Dell Chromebook 3189. Actually, Dell Chromebook 11 3189. So give a big shout out to Dell for this. If, if, it, if the screen is on, I don't know. It 
lights off in white. So that's one thing that I do really like about this Dell Chromebook. Okay, let's go ahead and type in my password to end the video. Let the camera will focus, there we go. Is it even worth it? Actually, maybe. Because one, 32 gig SSD. Two, DDR4 RAM, it's solder. You can't upgrade anything. Third, it is a tablet, but you cannot split it up. And four. Uh, the webcam is actually very decent. I'll show you that right now. And you're just looking at the wall. You can see that it's actually very decent. And you can see me, hello people. So that is really it. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time.